I want to show y'all automation. You know how when we end songs, sometimes, you know, we like to end the song and roll and do our little four, five, six and do all our little stuff, you know, all our little tricks and stuff. You want to leave space for that. And you don't want a click running in your ears, right? while that is going on, right? So inside of Guide Track, everything is automatable. So here in Ableton, I'm in Ableton, but this is gonna work different for whatever DAW that you use is, you know, you just have to get to the automation features. You can automate everything. So here in Ableton, there's a little thing right up here that turns on automation, right? Here in automation, you have to ch choose Guide Track, of course. It'll probably be default set to Mixer. Set it to guide track, and then you'll see all of the options that we have for guide track that you can actually automate. You can automate the fade on and off, the audition, the verb level, the split, just about everything. The volumes on the clicks, you can do all of that. So, for instance, I'm going to utilize this fade on and off feature, right? So this song ends here. So maybe we're rolling right there, right? I'll add in an automation point, right? And we'll turn the click off here. Let's make sure we got that right. Sorry, I didn't know I jumped all the way up here. So it's faded out and we're doing our hallelujah, give him glory. Praise his name, all of all the theatrics that we do in church, right? All of our theatrics, all of the setup that the praise and worship does. How many of y'all know that there's no reason to fear? And da -da 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 -da, they look at your neighbor and all of that yin-yang jazz. Meanwhile, the timeline is still running, right? You want to give your praise and worship leader a ton of space to, and you guys to do all of your little theatrics and stuff that y'all do in front of uh, the thing. And then we bring the click back in right here. Right, we just fade it in, automate it, right? So everything's rolling, you know, hallelujah, give them glory, give them praise or whatever. You're gonna hear the kick, click, fade back in, and then you're gonna hear it change. How cool is that? And here's the funny, here's something fun. I'm just gonna get crazy with the automations now. Maybe I don't, because it's a worship song, I don't want that click, I want a different click. We can mute. Click one, you guys probably already know what I'm about to do next. I'm gonna go over here to click three, right? And on click three, just drawing automation points. We're gonna bring that up, right? So how crazy is that? So now, ah, that's so dope. Man, that's so dope to me. So now you have the situation where I can have one click here. Take it out. So that click fades out, right? But then when we get to the end here and we get ready to go into song three, I got a whole different click. And I think that is the beautiful part of using Guide Track. And I can have one instance of Guide Track that does nothing but control my click. And then I can have another instance that does nothing but control uh, my cues, right? Just being able to automate those things and give yourself space to be able to like, you know what I'm saying? Program those things in uh, so you don't have to do, because like a lot of us, when I when we ran tracks at church and when we did all that stuff running stems, we run from top to bottom. We typically don't repeat, but we have measures and stuff. That's a whole nother thing on running Ableton and running stems at church. We have classes on the website on this, go check it out. Uh, but you know you want to be able to like kind of set up things and run things to a point where you can be able to um fade those things in and out you can run the set you can literally come in as soon as praise and worship stops starts hit the space bar and it runs all the way through praise and worship right and that click is running in the background but it stops in your ears so you don't have this click running constantly like while you're trying to do all of the one four five six stuff that y'all be loving to do you know in the talk back for three four five all of that stuff uh, all of that leave you some fade to click out while you do that and then bring it back in on the next song all right 
Yo, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this clip. We appreciate you watching this breakdown. If you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to check out the links right over here. If you want to take your production mixing or whatever to the next level or check out some of the other products that we have, make sure you check the links down in the description uh, and in the comment section of this video. All right, I appreciate you guys. We'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.